hey, so in this video, I wanna talk about getting a woman to chase you. This is really important because getting a woman to chase you means that she's gonna find you more interesting, she's gonna find you more attractive. She feels like she's the one chasing the relationship and she's chasing you. It means you're hard to get, you're a challenge, you're a mystery, and therefore your value goes up, right? They did a really interesting study, which was published in the European Journal of Personality, and they found that less available men are more attractive to women. How do they know this? They got a group of men and they divided them into three different categories. Low availability, normal availability, and high availability. And then they asked a group of women, what kind of restaurant are you willing to take each man to? Right? A fine dining restaurant, a casual restaurant, or a cheap restaurant? And the results of the study found that women were more likely to take the man to a fine dining restaurant and spend more money on him when he had low availability because his value was seen as being higher. But the moment you become too available, she doesn't see you as being as valuable and your time isn't worth as much, right? You're low value. But the less available you are, the more high value you become, which is really important. You can use this to your advantage when it comes to building attraction with women. Be less available. They find it more attractive. So how do you get a woman to chase you? Well, first of all, you don't reach out to her all the time. You can't be reaching out 100%, chasing the relationship, trying to get her out on a date. If she likes you and she's into you, she will contact you. And then you respond and you ask her out on a date and you build intimacy from there. But you need to get her to think about you. You need to be less available. You need to use space to your advantage because remember, attraction grows in space and use that to your advantage when you're building attraction with women. Get her thinking about you. Don't be afraid to pull back. Even if a girl doesn't contact you for two days, three days, four days, a week, two weeks, doesn't matter. Let her think about you, miss you, worry about you, and then she'll reach out to you and she'll be in touch, right? That's a guarantee. She'll come back to you, she'll be in touch. If she doesn't, she obviously had low attraction for you, let it go. It doesn't matter, move on to the next girl who has high attraction for you, who's really into you. In the beginning of the relationship, you must chase a woman. That's normal, that's natural. But the moment you start to have intimacy with her, pull back and allow her to chase you, right? That's the natural dynamic of a relationship. That's how it should be. The man doesn't always chase the woman. If you're constantly chasing a woman, like the guy who contacted me the other day, who was telling me how he went on a cruise with his girlfriend and he was trying to be intimate with her, she refused. He paid for the trip. She refused to have any intimacy. She refused to kiss him. They got back home and he's chasing the relationship. He's asking her how she's doing, when can I see you again? And he's chasing it, chasing it, chasing it. And he's always the first to reach out. And if she disappears for two days, he gets worried, he gets panicked. Is everything okay? What are you doing? Where are you? Can I see you? His anxiety comes through. It basically just oozes out of him and she gets turned off by this. And he wanted to know how he can turn things around. Well, the first thing you do is you pull back. You become mysterious. You become a challenge again. You let her think about you. You get her chasing you. How do you get her chasing you? You pull back. Give her space to chase you. That's important. Now, if your girlfriend's pulled away from you and you want to know how to keep her in the relationship and to keep her attracted to you, I highly recommend you get a copy of my guide. You can pick up your copy today by clicking on the link on this video. And if you need help with a specific relationship problem, don't forget I do Skype and email consultations. And if you just want to get in touch, send me an email. I love to hear from you guys. Talk soon.